This is the Seagate Personal Cloud, the 5 terabyte version to be exact, and on Amazon it goes for 199 US dollars at the moment, but of course if you opt for another size, the price will go down with it. So if you are in need of a simple storage and backup solution, this might be the way to go actually. So let's check it out. It's got a nice piano black top with a white LED light on the bottom right corner. And on the front, there's a nice looking Seagate logo. The actual build quality though, is not spectacular in any way. It's just made out of plastic and that's that. On the back, there is a simple IO with a power button, power in, Ethernet and a USB port. On the right side, there's a USB 3 connection that you can use to connect external hard drives to the same NAS system. I use a lazy 4TB Porsche Design mobile hard drive and it worked perfectly. The external hard drive basically gets its own folder within the NAS system. So how does it work and how do you get it up and running? Well, it's extremely simple, just plug it into power, then connect the ethernet cable to your router, click the power button and wait for the white LED to stop blinking, then go to your PC, go to the file explorer and click network, if you get an error message, just click yes and start network sharing, and there it is, personal cloud. Just click on that and then click on the public folder, and there's a link in the public folder. Go to that link and follow the steps on the website to set up your personal cloud device. And once you're done, you will get to the homepage. And if you want to set up accounts that get their own folder, click on device manager, go to users, go to add user. You can then choose if the user is within the same network as you or anywhere else in the world. And if it's an external user, you just have to provide an email address and the system will then send an email for the person with setup instructions. And if it's a local account, you can let the user themselves add the account info or you can do it yourself. So once you have added the account, the user will have its own folder within the network share and if anyone tries to access it, they will have to enter the username and password to see the content inside. So as you can see, it's very straightforward. If you connect an external hard drive to the NAS with the USB 3.0 port, that external hard drive will appear as its own folder in the NAS network share. So let's take a look at the software. So device manager is where you can set up accounts, change settings and all that kind of stuff. In the download manager, you can make the NAS download content to itself with either a link or a torrent file. You can also choose the destination. In the backup manager, you can set up backup schedules for your PCs, etc. You can also back up the connected external hard drive to the NAS hard drive, and I find that very useful. You can also choose to back up things to, to services like Google Drive and Dropbox. In the app manager, you can, you can install apps such as a Plex media server, WordPress, IFTTT, and more. In the app IFTTT, you can set up some really cool stuff. For example, every time you add something to Dropbox or Google Drive, it can automatically download it to itself as well. You can download every Android or iOS photo that you take, and you can also automatically download email attachments to the drive, and much much more, it's just awesome. Basically, you put the internet to work for you. So next up is S Drive. This is the app that you use if you go outside of your home, just sign in and you have access to your NAS from anywhere in the world. It's available both on Windows and Mac. Now that we have got all of that out of the way, there's only one last thing to test and that is transfer speed. I'm going to transfer a folder of important TMN stuff from my PC to the personal cloud drive and then bring it back. It's about 55 gigs. The average speed was lying at around 55 megabytes per second, that being both from and to the personal cloud, which is pretty decent considering it's all going through the network. Alright, quick pros and cons time. Pros, it's good looking, it can connect external hard drive, it's relatively cheap for what you get, 
it has a good interface with great inbuilt apps that are all very useful. It's quiet and it's extremely easy to use. Cons. The drive is not easily upgradable. It only has one drive slot and it isn't very well built. So as a conclusion, the Seagate Personal Cloud is a simple to use NAS for a good price. It looks good, it's not too big and more importantly, it's extremely easy to set up and use and the inbuilt apps are all very useful. So would I recommend it? Yes. Totally, it's a great buy. Thanks for watching, make sure to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.